for more details of this proposal from the Senate Minority Leader, but uh, you know, w would the President accept a short-term deal to raise the debt ceiling while you try and find a broader path out of this crisis? Well, as I, as I said a few minutes ago, um, we don't need to kick the can. We don't need to go through a cumbersome process that every day brings additional risks. And you heard many of the business leaders convey that. Even as we look to risk tomorrow, the next day, as uh, American, the American people are looking at their retirement counts, worrying about their Social Security savings, mil members of the military worrying about their payments, we don't need to incur that risk uncertainty. Uh, and I think it's important to also remember we're at this point because Republicans in Congress treated the savings accounts and retirement savings of the American people, Social Security checks of retirees and veterans benefits like a game of monopoly putting the stability and security of the American people at risk we're at this point because Republicans in Congress blocked efforts by Democrats to raise the debt limit and protect the full faith and credit of the United States despite having voted for it three times during the Trump administration so obviously as, as has been reported uh, and it, the vote has been delayed there's still an opportunity for Republicans to join us and being adults in the room and uh, ensure that people have uh, confidence in the economic security and their own retirement savings. The, the minority leader's proposal, though, seems to go at one of the key arguments that the president was making yesterday about why he's opposed to using budget reconciliation, which is that it would take time, it's cumbersome, it, it could uh, lead to you know unexpected scenarios. Um, so it, is. Is the minority leader taking off your arguments against reconciliation by offering this one-month extension? Um, and, and if not, then what, what are your remaining objections? Is it simply that you don't want Democrats to take a vote that would put a specific dollar amount? Democrats uh, are very willing to be the adults in the room and take a vote to raise the debt limit. They're not even asking Republicans to do that anymore since they've clearly shown their refusal to do exactly that. The point I'm making is that there is a very clear uh, the least risky option here that can ensure that there is confidence from the American people about their own checking accounts or about their own retirement savings, that's something Republicans still have the opportunity to participate in and be a part of. And just on Afghanistan, if I could, um, the ISIS case suicide bomber uh, had, you know, who, who uh, uh, carried out the attack that resulted in the deaths of 13 U.S. service members and dozens more Afghans had been released from the Parwan prison at Bagram Air Base just days before that attack took place when the Taliban took control of that base. Should the Biden administration have done more uh, to secure Bagram or transfer ISIS-K prisoners outside of that? And do you now accept that this attack would not have happened had the United States retained control of Bagram? Well, I can't speak to the specific case. I'd let it leave it to the intelligence community to uh, speak to that. So I'd point you to them. I'd remind you that as it relates to Bagram, uh, there was a decision made uh, to close Bagram because it wasn't strategically in the interests of uh, the United States and our national security to keep it open with 5,000 uh, troops there protecting Bagram at a distance that was far away from the capital and far away from uh, where people from the embassy would be evacuated. So uh, that was the broad-based decision. I understand you're asking me a different question than that, but I just want to reiterate. the same decision had he known that it would result Again, in I can't speak to this particular time. report. I point you to the intelligence community. Go ahead. Thanks, Jen. You know, Congress has passed countless short-term government funding measures. They have funded the government for 48 hours before. Wouldn't a short-term debt ceiling hike be preferable to default? Uh, a, the preference would be just getting this done today so we can move on to more business for the American people. And that option is still on the table. Uh, but you, you know, the, the White House brought in all of these banking CEOs mm -hmm. today to talk about how catastrophic it would be if the U.S. were to default. Why not send the markets that assurance, if you have the opportunity, that at least for the next eight weeks, the debt ceiling is going to be secure? Well, if we're looking at the best options, why kick the can down the road uh, a couple of more weeks? Why create an additional layer of uncertainty? Uh, why not just get it done now? That's what we're continuing to press for, and that's our first choice.